I'm so bored. I need a healthy relationship with a normal guy who is handsome, kind, big, maybe even huge, who likes seafood. Do I ask too much? Hmm. Let me check Sigma. Of course he must be here. Blech. No. Next. Archeon. Always showing off with his fancy mount. Not my type. Ooh, that one looks handsome. Like. That one has a style. Look at that gentleman. You get a like also. The one who will prove himself the best on the battlefield will become my match. Hello everyone, I'm Yuri. Slavan. And welcome to the Bulldog Hammer. Uh, today we're presenting uh, another game of uh, Mega Gargan series. Yeah. And today our giants will try to uh, fight um, Silmanith. The goddess of life. Right, right. Uh, <laughs> they will fight to win her heart, probably. I'm bringing, I'm bringing a gatebreaker uh, tribe just to be able to crash um, Yuri's forest. Yeah. And I will have an additional bonus on damage if he decides to hide in the forest. Uh, so it's, I think, good counter uh, toward your list. Yuri, what do you have against this kind of handsome uh, group of Chance. Oh, first of all, I have to say uh, you're not Delaria's type, so don't think it's gonna be easy to win her heart. This is uh, one thing. Another thing, um, I'm bringing the uh, magic heavy list. Hope to somehow to slow you down uh, with my magic and then uh, deal as much uh, damage as I can uh, in terms of the mortal wounds output and bringing a couple of endless spells. I'll screen you as much as I can. Mm. I've got lots of buddies on the table. Hopefully, Durthu's Great Blade gonna deal lots of damage to you. You know, yeah, it's it a yeah. uh, highest damage output uh, weapon in the game, six flat. Yeah, but very dicey. Mm. So yeah, we'll see. Let's see. Uh, let's see how it goes. Yeah, let's go. The battle plan for today's game is called the Blade's Edge from 2020 Journal's Handbook. There are a total of six objectives, three in each player's territory. A player scores one victory point for each objective they control. Starting from the second battle round, the player who goes second can pick one objective on the battlefield and remove it from the play. Elariel is a named character, goddess of life, who can cast and unbind multiple spells. She is decent in melee combat, can summon units, has a ranged attack and heals friendly Sylvaneth unit. With her metamorphosis spell, she deals multiple mortal wounds. Spirit of Durthu is a 300 point monster, fun to play with but can be pretty swingy. His guardian sword blade has the highest damage output in the game, dealing 6 flat damage. Draika is a name character and a spellcaster. With a regrow spell from the lore he can heal d6 wounds. She is decent in combat, fast and can deal mortal wounds. Branch Witch is a spellcaster who is decent in combat, she is minus 1 to hit when she is fighting in the Wildwood. Kernes Hunters with Swords is an amazing unit, has a reliable damage output, can deal mortal wounds and reroll save rolls. Tree Revenants is the battle lion unit with a teleporting ability anywhere on the battlefield. Overall an amazing unit that allowed me to win multiple games. Spide Revenants is a cheap battle lion and a good screening unit. Each model has three attacks. It also reduces enemy bravery and forces to reroll successful battle shock attack. Draika is a name character and a spellcaster. With a regrow spell from the lore, he can heal d6 wounds. She is decent in combat, fast, and can deal mortal wounds. Wengeful Skull Root is an endless spell that can deal up to d6 mortal wounds. Doesn't affect Sylvaneth unit. Glade Worm is a great looking endless spell that deals d3 mortal wounds to an enemy unit and heals d3 wounds allocated to Sylvaneth unit. Spell Portal increases the range of the casted spell, and despite being high in points, this endless spell may be crucial for some armies. All Mega Gargans share similar characteristics, such as 35 wounds, 7 bravery, 4 plus save. However, there are a few distinctions. For example, aside from the attack characteristics, War Stamper is a good against Horde armies. Gatebreaker has a pretty decent shooting attack, dealing 4 damage flat. With a smash down ability, this Mega Gargan can destroy any terrain feature. 
You can imagine Bone Tile Nexus Wildwood being destroyed in a single blow. Pretty amazing. Kraken Eater has one of the coolest abilities in the game never seen in AOS before, called Get of Me Land, allowing him to move an objective 2d6 in any direction or 3d6 if you take Taker's Tribe. Mancrusher Gargans are small giants that act as the battle line. You can take each separately or bundle up in a unit of three. They have decent attacks. When close to a Mega Gargan, these fellows can run and then charge. And I decided to um, take first turn because uh, in this battle plan, uh, double turn is a little bit nerfed. Uh, so what I'm planning to do is getting uh, objectives on Yuri's territory as fast as possible. And he can then uh, burn or something on my side, whatever. I will control on uh, his side and will try to last as, as much as possible. So my main power in the center, I'll try to get objective there. My Kraken it will be on the left. If needed, he will kick the objective. And my uh, War Stomper will be on the right. So that's the plan. So now what I'm, ta why I'm, taking, uh, why I'm taking the first turn, I will move with my War Stomper here, trying to get Yuri's objective. Uh, f move forward here, move forward here, try to do some shooting. If I'm in range of Yuri's Durthra, I'll try to shoot him. Uh, to break at him. If not, uh, uh, since you don't have any CPs, I will shoot these guys, small guys, and uh, hoping that they will fail uh, um, their battle shocks. Yeah. Uh, bear in mind, uh, Durthu is hiding in the wild woods, so you cannot see him in order to shoot because neither he mm, or no point. your mortal good point. has the fly ability. Okay, then I won't, won't do that. End of my uh, turn. So what I did, I ran with my Kraken Eater. I sacrificed his shooting attack, but to get Yuri's objective um, on uh, on objective on Yuri's territory. And now he cannot teleport on my territory because uh, there is more than nine uh, inches all around. Unless he wants to charge here, the same. I um, got objective uh, here on the uh, center with my general. Ran with my um, man crushers and uh, tried to charge but uh, failed uh, but it was long charge 10 and i ran with my war stomper here and getting objectives on yuri's territory i do not hold these two objectives on left and right because i the chose back ones right yeah i chose to control that one and next turn i will uh, um get them probably um also with my only shooting attack from my uh gatebreaker i shot four guys um yuri's spike remnants right yeah spike uh remnants. yes and i was hoping that they run away but yuri rolled one and he stays there that's okay um and um i'm move i'm giving a turn to yuri by and getting four points this turn bottom of turn uh one sylvanet so my goal for this turn would be uh, to do magic, deal as, uh, as many mortal wounds as I can uh, using... Uh, Bro, only magic. magic will help you. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, that's true. I'll try to summon the wild woods here mm -hmm. and potentially charge uh, with Durthu mm -hmm. over here or here. I haven't, um, I haven't decided yet, depending on the uh, threat that I'm facing. I probably will abandon this... Uh, um, two objectives and focus on uh holding uh this two so maybe the wall would will go here mm. elariel has a cool uh, magic uh, spell called metamorphosis that deals mu multiple mortal wounds and with a thorn on wines it stacks so uh <clears throat> i'll try to get this off and you know uh, ran into the combat and start uh, also, dealing as much yeah, damage as I can. Also very important that you can't do any force around these guys because they just can't destroy them, right? Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's actually a very good point why I said I'm gonna uh, summon the well woods either here or here because these guys can just uh, destroy the terrain. Mm -hmm. uh, these guys, they can't. Uh, so yeah, let's see, uh, let's see how it goes. Yeah. So my hero phase I was able to give him the Thorn and Wine, so I'm plus two to cast. Mm -hmm. um, the spell portal went off, and Metamorphosis uh, spell uh, went on on nine. So I'm rolling. Also, you failed uh, for, uh, three, oh, forest to cast. Yes, forest yes. With Draka. So, so Draka failed to cast the uh, Awakened Wildwood over here. I rolled four. Unfortunately, she doesn't have any buffs uh, to cast roll, but. 
with her, like I said, with her metamorphosis uh, spell. Mm -hmm. I'm rolling uh, nine dice, and every four up is a mortal wound, and I've decided to target uh, the little guys. So let's see how it goes. Oh. Pretty good, so five. five. Yeah, five mm -hmm. mortal wounds. Cool, and at the end, end of your hero phase, or are you doing teleportation? Uh, no, well, I don't have a wild woods to teleport, plus I don't have any units uh, in reserve. Uh, but what I have, is uh, I can uh, mm, I have one more spell uh, with my general. Uh, with my general, and I'm gonna give a mystic shield uh, to the dryads. Mm. And because uh, of the artifact, I can roll three dice and pick two. Yeah, so it goes off on seven. Mm. So this guy's uh, mystically uh, shielded, and we are moving to the movement phase. So I advance with all my units here. I'm ready to make a charge with my uh, dreads. Uh, you teleport your spider remnants here. Spider right? remnant there. Another unit of spider uh, remnants. Oh, they're not spider here. With the tree remnants. Oh, uh, sorry, tree refs. Yeah. yeah. Uh, right. So another one is here. Yeah, spider remnants have moved uh, up. This spider remnants have uh, moved. It's very here. brave guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Draka has followed. Mm -hmm. Now uh, we are starting with a shooting attack. I'm activating Elarial and she has a Spear of Kurnath. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna target uh, a unit of uh, Man Crushers, uh, so it's threes and twos, uh, and twos. Yeah, okay. so minus two rent, I think that's automatic. automatic, and D6, uh, one, one, don't, don't one mind more of wounds. So six left. With regards to the uh, Draka, uh, she's in range, um, and uh, when she's, uh, uh, in rage, uh, I, I roll 20 mm -hmm. rice mm -hmm. and six is Amora wounds and attack Shit. sequence ends. Okay. Uh, so I've got uh, two more uh, wounds. Two more wounds and I've got uh, uh, four hits and yeah. I'll do it again because uh, it's 20 in total. So uh, another mortal wound. Three. And so seven uh, in total and three mortal wounds. And I'm wounding on threes, so minus one rent and one damage. How many? Six. Six, yeah, correct. And uh, five pluses. So two saved, four and uh, three mortal wounds. Yeah. Seven wounds goes to my uh, Kraken Eater. Correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. Uh, so this is end of my uh, shooting phase. Oh, this little guy uh, fell behind. Uh, Durthu cannot shoot because uh, mm -hmm. he doesn't have the visibility. It's hard to see Dryad from the woods. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. exactly. So uh, Dryad's going to go. Five. Are you charging, right? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a Big charge. Mistake. Big mistake. <laughs> and I'll get plus one to hit uh, towards uh, this unit because I, uh, I nominate a unit at the start of the mm -hmm. uh, combat phase. Uh, so they'll be hitting on fours, winning on threes. Um, I'm gonna move uh, this right. uh, quickly over here, and the other guys, uh, they're entangled. Any there. other? Uh, yeah, so let's uh, let's charge with these guys, nice. nine, pretty well. I don't think they're gonna <laughs> survive, <laughs> uh, survive yeah. but you know, they're brave chaps and they have uh, lots of damage output, so. They do, right? Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's all my charges, and while these guys are still alive, I'm gonna activate uh, them first. Each Good has uh, three attacks. Mm -hmm. uh, there are five of them. The leader has uh, plus one, so sixteen. Quick question: Why you uh, didn't decide to hit first with a uh, dryad? Because yeah, you have a chance to kill one gargan, and it's also potential. Damage. I know, I know, but I think. Um, this is just a chaff unit. They're pretty survivable. Even if mm. I lose uh, uh, lose them, I think I still be able to uh, keep uh, keep them on the table. But, but this guy as much damage as possible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. I, I want to further bracket this guy essentially. Okay. So it's uh, uh, threes and threes. Oh, nice. And I, uh, I hope sixes are not more wounds. No, no. But I get to <laughs> reroll one. Uh, doesn't because of the wizard uh, nearby. The uh, Narlut uh, mm -hmm. blade and threes again. That's actually, you know, rolling pretty well. And I think they have um, uh, rent on them, right? No, no, no rent. Eight at four plus. Four pluses. Oh, actually, amazing save. Two. 
Two and three. Are you sure they don't have? Or these guys have run, right? Uh, yeah, those. The oh, okay, have okay. Run. So only two went through. Even even if they had run, still two would go through, through right? So, yeah, exactly. So that's amazing. And uh, so portal nine damage on my Kraken Eater. And I will activate, of course, my uh, main crushers or drive crushers this time. And uh -huh. uh, we'll see how it goes. With the stuff me stuff in, in my bag, I killed two. Yeah, including the leader. Uh, including the leader. Also, I rolled for headbutt and I missed all attacks. And then I um, uh, rolled massive club. I had 28 attacks and only seven went through. And, 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 and I saved two. Two, so five uh, drives died. And I have a final attack uh, with my uh, with a mighty kicks hitting on threes. Uh, okay, and threes again. Yeah. Two with minus two rent this time. So uh, six up. Two mm. went through. Uh, two d three. Uh, four so damage so total. Four, five, nine total, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, three. I forgot to um, use my crime uh, because um, I wanted to get rid of them because uh, and cripple your ability to um, hold the objectives, uh, kill his numbers, but I forgot and uh, rolled not very good. But still, I managed to kill nine, not bad. Yeah. Uh, and now I guess you're you're uh, hitting back with your drives. Yeah, I'm, mm. I'm gonna do the pile in and hit back. 34 attack in total, Dreads are attacking back. I'm gonna uh, roll this twice. So hitting on threes, winning on fours. 13 uh, went through, winning on fours. So from the first batch, 10 went through and I'm uh, rolling another 17, so threes and fours. Six, nine, 10 went through and I'm winning on fours. So another six, so uh, 16 in total, uh, no rent, you're saving on fives. Yeah. This is 16 here? Yeah. Uh, no rent or fives? Two. <laughs> Only two. Oh, the, uh, uh, there is one more three. five. Three. So, so 14 damage 14 in total. Damage. That's, that's very... <sighs> so we're rolling for timber, where my uh, garden falls. Five. A one, so yeah. you choose, doesn't matter. So, okay. So, one guy is out. Okay, I'm activating my Kraken Eater. First of all, I rolled three for stuff in my net. So, if I roll two pluses, I can uh, pick up the model and kill. So, three models are already out. Yeah. Well, let's say in the middle. Yep. But I think I'll kill them all. But so they yeah, say let's 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 maybe save time and then okay <laughs> remove this so we're removing <laughs> these guys uh and it's end of the uh, combat phase i don't need to roll a battle shot because i'm at seven and what about yeah. your guys i'm gonna use the command ability to command make them auto pass auto pass and we're rolling for priority yeah i roll four you i roll three so it's three. up to you if you want to give me the turn or you want to go second and burn the objective? Uh, you know what? I'm going to go next. Mm. So you pick which objective you want to uh, burn. burn. Yeah. Good point. Okay. I burned objective on my territory here. Uh, Why well, I did that, uh, first of all, because uh, Yuri, what, what, what he would do, he would put these guys here out of three range, combat range. And then my uh, Kraken Eater would have to uh, decide whether he wants to go there or there and fight for two objectives. Uh, it's harder and gives Yuri points. I'll try to fight here. Maybe I'll lose objective here this turn. Um, uh, but uh, no problem. I'll hit it back on my turn. And also, I relieve uh, danger from here because now Yuri won't probably have lots of um, desire to put forest here, you know, like to uh, put more forces on the left side, and I will save my Kraken Eater somehow. Yeah. So let's see what uh, Yuri will do on his turn. Yeah, it's worth noting that I scored on uh, zero victory point uh, last turn. Mm. Okay, so uh, moving to the top of turn two, so on that. Uh, for my uh, hero phase, uh, I summoned the Wildwoods here mm -hmm. with the intention to move uh, Durthur on this side 
and uh, potentially try to charge. Um, uh, she got mystically shielded, Thoron Wines uh, went off, so she's plus four to casting. And for her metamorphosis uh, ability, I rolled uh, uh, 12, essentially, so plus uh, four. Now I'll be rolling uh, 16 uh, dice. And, and healing my general. And, yeah, and four up uh, will be immortal wounds. I'm gonna uh, target the general, and the reason why I gave her the mystic shield, I think it's time for the uh, big lady to uh, get uh, into mm -hmm. combat uh, before it's too late. Uh, so yeah, uh, I also tried uh, to cast the Glade Worm uh, with Draka. <laughs> you know, Draka is not doing a great mm -hmm. job casting today, but that's fine. So uh, let's see, I need uh, four up uh, targeting uh, the general. So I take off misses. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I have six plus two of pain. Yeah. So hope to see at least oh, nice, at least two, and six went through. Okay. Powerful spell. Yes, yes, uh, that's actually pretty good. So for my uh, movement phase, I'm gonna move this guy here. <laughs> <Pretty> uh, <laughs> yes, uh, essentially uh, move those guys back. Mm -hmm. Over here, just to hold the objective, uh, uh, Draka will move uh, here, and uh, I will be charging with her this turn. Durthu gonna. So you want to sit within three of me? Yeah, uh, Durthu gonna use the spirit walk and move here. He's out, um, outside of nine from the garden. He's planning to charge. He's planning to charge. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, the general gonna move uh, here uh, to support him because he'll be re-rolling uh, re once. Mm -hmm. And now we're moving to the shooting phase. What about these guys? Uh, these guys can move, uh, sorry, uh, yes, uh, you're right, closer just to hold the objective. Uh, Elariel gonna move uh, here on top of the building. Oh, she has. she's so fast. Yeah, yeah, she moves, uh, she moves pretty fast with the intention to uh, charge uh, the general, but now she lost uh, the stacking of her. Oh. Uh, Ability, <laughs> I don't yeah. know what's better. We'll see. Yeah. Mm. So, um, shooting face, uh, the spear of Kornet, uh, mm -hmm. uh gonna target uh, man crushers. Uh, man crushers, uh, right? So, three is no. Good. Thank you. Failed. Yeah, that was uh, pretty misfortunate. Uh, Draka gonna do the uh, same shooting attack as she did She's last time. She's in in terms of like uh, shooting, she has a shooting, right? Yeah, yeah, shooting. Mm. Uh, Twenty right. shooting attacks. So let's see, six is a mortal wounds. So four mortal wounds so far. Mm -hmm. All these are misses, but I have to roll uh, four more. Uh, let's see if there are sixes. So uh, there you go. One, two, three, four, five mortal wounds. I have sequence ends, and I'm wounding on uh, threes. So there you go. Six uh, minus one. Uh, five. So four, so six, ten three damage. Total. Wait, three saved, and you have. Oh, three saved. Okay. And five. Uh, but there's two, right? No, no, it's oh, just. It's four. Okay. And uh, five more wounds, right? Six more wounds, so nine total. Oh, no, six. So you rolled six sixes out of 20 shots, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, just, just saying, just saying. <laughs> yeah, so nine, nine more wounds. Uh, no, sorry, nine wounds, and he. Oh, he's getting damaged. Six. Seven, three. So I'm guessing he's now. Bracketed, right? Yeah, he's bracketed, but a uh, good thing about uh, Gargans, they don't lose their power that much with yep. the wounds, but so he will hit back. Cool. Uh, Durthu gonna shoot, he has a shooting attack, mm -hmm. uh, and it's uh, threes, uh, 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 fours and uh, threes. I get to reroll one because the because uh, the wizard is nearby. I forgot mm. to use it on Draka, but that's fine. And uh, uh, three, so three minus one d three damage each. Right. So two saved and one went through. So d three one one good. wound. That's good. One wound here, just normal wound, right? Yeah. 
And uh, what else? We're moving to charging now. Okay. I'm gonna try to charge uh, with Durto. I need nine inch, uh, inch charge, mm -hmm. which is pretty, pretty important. No, I'm gonna use the command point to reroll this. No, only seven, which is not great, but, uh, but that's fine. Amazing. And you don't have command point to save these guys anymore. I don't have the command point. Yeah, correct. Uh, so uh, the big lady gonna charge Okay, next. let's see. So I she, think this is a charge. Yeah. Not sure, but there's a possibility. So how you want to charge now? Mm, you know, I'm probably gonna go... No. No, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Oh, yeah, I'm gonna go... I'm Make gonna go here. Oh, shit. Actually, actually from this side. It's not enough, I think. Well, uh, her base is six. Yeah, she charged. So yeah, you're right. Let's move her here. Mm -hmm. Closer now. Four plus. She deals uh, D three mortal wounds when she charges. So three mortal wounds. Excellent. Okay. So I guess uh, that's. Uh, you're not charging with right. You know, I might. I might as well. I'm going to charge with uh, Drake as well. Uh, so nine. Okay. And what's more, I'm going to charge with this. No, hero. not him. <laughs> not this guy. With a hero. Uh, he was within three. That's how I left him. Let's let's see if he's out. He's out. Three and no, a half. He's okay. Yeah, he should be okay. Okay, okay excellent. So uh, that's it uh, for the charging. Uh, now, very important question where you start activating. Yeah, I think it's. I think this girls. Yeah, yeah, I think it was a big missed opportunity for me not uh, not being able to charge with Dorothy over here. Now the big question is whether I'm gonna um, activate the big lady or uh, Dryads. And um, as a matter of fact, I think uh, she'll be okay. So um, I, I need to clean uh, this objective. Which objective? This one, so I'm activating uh, Dryads. Mm -hmm. Activating uh, Dryads, like I said, mm -hmm. 34 attacks. Um, I'm going to split it in two, so 17, uh, threes and fours. I don't get to reroll anything because I don't have a, a wizard nearby. Mm -hmm. uh, that's pretty good. And uh, fours. So for, uh, from the first attack, six went through. And the second page. And the second bit, uh, I need to kill at least one. Yeah. One big guy. That would be. Yeah. And uh, wounding on fourth. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. No rent, one damage. So most likely one of my gargants is down. Uh, so let's roll fives. So 14 went through in... Uh, Out of 14 rolls, I have zero five pluses. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty. 12, 13. Yeah, zero. So 14 damage went through. Wow. <laughs> wow. Five and nine go through to... Um, so he's down to three, the last uh, guy. Yeah, he's down to three. Okay. Wow, that was pretty successful. Yeah, and we rolled Can't for complain. timber. Yeah, this is the timber. Two, and you? Uh, two... One. And no, the three damage to your uh, two damage toward your uh, dreads. Yeah, let's take uh, this one. Was there bravery? That's a good question. I think it's uh, seven. Oh, oh, I thought I remember ten or something. I, I remember there were bravery. Oh, sorry, six plus uh, one for every ten. Yeah. Okay, then probably some some of them will run away, and I will be able still to hold the objective. So let's see. And now I will hit with my Kraken Eater. And I will hit... How many wounds does she have? 16. Mm. Are you gonna split the attacks? Uh, let me think. So after a long, long thinking, um, I decided to remind Yuri that he can bring his Cornet Hunters. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I was... Uh, the, uh, the intention was to summon three Cornet Hunters with uh, source, uh, swords uh, with my um, Elarial. So I placed them here. My mom kindly let yes. me do that. Five points to my karma. 
<laughs> yeah. So, and it's your activation next? My activation, yes. I've been debating for a long time whether to shoot everything toward uh, uh, Alariel or and try to uh, um, stop her um, or or uh, hit uh, Draka and kill Draka because uh, Draka can heal D6, you know. And um, and I want to keep him alive. So if I kill Draka, she has four plus uh, three plus. So for uh, you, you mean for her attack yeah. or save? Oh, for attack. Yeah, her uh, her biggest attack is the Biddle that heals on fours, moons on threes. Yeah, and five flat damage. Okay, Decisions. you know what? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, let me hit Alario, and I will use my triumph too. Okay, so you will be rerolling re all your hit rolls. Yeah. So everything goes towards Alario. Yeah. Uh, first of all, stomp. All go through. Wounds on threes. Freaking two. So minus two ren. Uh, so five up. No. Uh, D3. <laughs> so one goes through. Okay, not, not uh, great so far. Uh, three. Uh, it's a uh, dead grip. And hitting on two. I need that because it's minus three ren and D6. So it's minus three ren this time and D6 damage. So six. And I'm good. <laughs> yeah. You just need to roll with a twist. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Killing on threes? Yeah, you. Oh, I failed this. Oh, yeah, good. You wish you had a time machine, huh? And wounding on threes. Yeah. Four minus two rent. So four minus two, I've got only uh, three dice, so uh, five up, I, I, I roll one more. Yeah, so three went through. Uh, three dam two damage each. Okay, so six, so seven total. Seven total toward um, Alariel. I, I wouldn't even kill Draika. So at least I break Titalariel, uh, probably he will fall uh, this game, unfortunately. And um, hopefully he doesn't fall on one of my units. Yes, that's a chance, but then I'll take a turn probably and uh, we'll be able to kill her. But let's see how it goes and your activation now. So uh, you decided to activate Draka and hitting my Kraken Eater. Exactly, so uh, three and fours, uh, six is our uh, mortal wounds. Uh, I get two reroll ones because she's a wizard in the Narlut. Uh, so this goes off. Uh, so one mortal wound so far. And one mortal wound. Uh, force, Ooh, good only, tail. only one went through, uh, and uh, no rent, one damage. No rent, so four, saved. So, so far one, one uh, mortal wound. Yeah, and now it's uh, fours and threes, and I'm attacking with the slashing talents. I get to reroll one. Yeah, so four went through, and, uh, well, not the best, so minus two rent, two damage. Six. No, two more damage. Yeah, and that's it. So he's now at uh, 24 damage on him. So yeah. nine, 11 wounds left. So I really hope that uh, Alariel fails. <laughs> yeah, and it's your activation. <laughs> my activation. Oh, I will of course activate my main crusher stuff in my net. So I need two plus to pick up the model. Let me pick up any model. I don't know if I will be able to break your coherency. There is no, I think, no chance to break it. But at least one more goes down for your bravery test. Let's start with a headbutt uh, hitting on four. Nice. Went through three and I'll do lots of damage. No. <laughs> uh, now I have only six uh, massive club attacks hitting on threes. Oh. Today it's not their day, completely not, <laughs> not their day. <laughs> Threes, uh, so minus one rent. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, very good. Uh, <laughs> three plus, uh, three plus roll, and three plus again for the final attack. A minus two rent for mighty kick. Yeah, it goes. D3 through. damage, two damage. So two more uh, guys gonna die. One. Yeah, what was I hoping to do? Uh, uh, much damage to uh, get uh, for you to fail the uh, bravery test and still be able to hold the objective. But now I think it won't yeah, be possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would make sense. Yeah. So now you can activate Alariel, the final activation this uh, combat phase. 
Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna pile in uh, this way just to make the charge a little bit harder for you. Um, the first attack I'm gonna go with the talent of dwelling, mm -hmm. and it's uh, three cent force. Please, uh, I need sixes here because they deal an additional. Uh, so it's D3 mortal wounds. You get uh, three mortal wounds in addition mm -hmm. and uh, force. So two no rent, one damage. Two no rent, one damage. Force. One went through. Okay, so one damage only. How much mortal wounds did I get? Uh, three. So four so total. Four so four total. And then Please the... fail. Please. <laughs> yeah, the great I antlers. need to leave. I need to leave. I, I swear I need to leave. It's five attacks, uh, threes, uh, uh, sorry, fours and threes. Uh -huh. I get to reroll once though. Oh my God. So far, so good. <laughs> and it's uh, threes. No. Oh, everything went through. Uh, rent? Minus two, four damage each. She's not right. No, she's right, it would be five. <laughs> so, yeah, 16 damage. Oh, uh, yes, he's out. Roll for timber. Yeah. Two. 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 Oh, wait. We get yeah, we have to reroll. Six. Yeah. So a full on Alario. Yeah. D3. D3. Three. Oh. Cool. So 10. So she's got six left. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is the end of my turn. Uh, this many uh, dryads have run away uh, because of the broken coherency. Um, I was fortunate to kill the guy, uh, the giant here. So at the end of my turn, I'm uh, I'm, I'm holding one two objective because I have eleven dryads here versus Levant's uh, ten. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, you have uh, hunters too. And, yeah, and I've got hunters too. And. Um, Levan is uh, holding this objective and I'm holding the other one, so I'm getting uh, three points at the end of my turn. That's great. And the total score is um, uh, uh, three to four. Well, I have my turn number to two. Wait. Yeah, so far. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. And it's bottom of turn two. Levan, tell me what did you do in your turn so far? So far, um, I charged with my uh, Gatebreaker. Did two damage on the charge. Uh, with his shooting attack, I killed four uh, dryas here. Also, I killed two more uh, with my giant. I charged shooting here. attack, right? Yes, uh, shooting. Yeah. I charged here on a charge. I did the six damage. I did one damage, and also yeah. I tried to pick up model on two plus. And you rolled one. And I rolled one. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's. Why? Uh, oh, why actually, yeah, actually sure. I think he has a bonus on picking up. But let's. I'll double check with that. What? What's the question? Why haven't you decided to go and attack uh, Dorthel? Um. Because if I go there, your small units will hold the objective and get points. That is. Let uh, uh, Dorthel uh, keep him uh, uh, out of game so far at the moment. Also, I'll try to put some um, um, I said some pressure on the left side for you to not to run away to teleport to the right side. So that's that's uh, my idea. If you get next turn, you probably will be able to teleport and get objective here. And unfortunately, I'll have to uh, give uh, first attack to Alariel because uh, I have only three wounds on my uh, giant and I can't. Uh, can die because I need to hold the objective there. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah, uh, LR is is bracketed as well, so she has uh, four wounds left. Yeah. Uh, okay, so your activation. Yes, you my activation will start with a uh, main crusher. On two plus, I will um, get uh, a dry. Yeah. So I will pick. You pick one. I will. You won't be able to break coherency this time? No, because you will uh, pile, in. Pile, in. pile in. I Correct. hope this time main, main crushes will do some damage. So let's start with headbutt hitting on force. Yeah. Not the best hit. Okay. 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 No stress. One. <laughs> <laughs> no panic. Yeah. <laughs> six uh, hitting, uh, six attacks left with my uh, massive club hitting on threes. Okay, okay, okay. That would be funny if Dries will kill him. Threes. Okay, five minus one rent. I think I have good chances to uh, wipe 
these ladies or yeah. whoever they are? Um, I have saved only on five plus because I'm less than 10 models. And I saved so three, two, so three, three ladies died. And I got <sighs> one left. Final attack with my mighty key kitty on threes. Ah! Only two. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's fine. Uh, also, okay. Anything else? Yeah, I went to pile in, but I forgot. Yeah, yeah, go, go, go ahead and put on. Doesn't match. Okay, I'm activating Ilario next. She's gonna start uh, with the talents, uh, four attacks, uh, threes and fours, uh, 60 some mortal wounds. Uh, so, <laughs> not the best, and fours, uh, no rent, one damage. Four, save. Yeah. And Beat always has only one damage now. Uh, correct, so it's... Uh, scary. Wow. I was hitting on fours and re-rolling once, so everything missed. Okay. Uh, do you want to roll here? No, it's your activation next. Yeah, you, wanna... you want me to roll here, or you think I'll be able oh, to yeah. claim that? Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. I'll just... Uh, so, this guy is... Kind of like... So, you activating your Gatebreaker, mm -hmm. hitting Elarial. What are you having? I'm attacking with my almighty stomp, which is hitting on twos this time. Okay, one only. <laughs> one second. Well, at least at least you've got one. You can roll hit rolls for mighty stop unless the target's a monster. Okay, at least one. Uh, three not plus a two wounds. <laughs> Minus two. Uh, okay, so uh, five, but I get to reroll once. I don't get to. D three, one. So she's down to three. Yes. Now I have a death grip hitting on twos. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> Very nice. Wait, I no, I think dead group I can reroll because she's a monster. She's not a monster. How many times do I have to Threes, play? yes. And twos. Oh my god! Stop! <laughs> <laughs> she leaves! I can't believe it! Okay, um final attack. Which is a big one, right? It's three damage each or something. Yes, one, two, three, four. And ten attacks. So I think I have a chance to kill her. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. So if, if at least one goes through, then yes. uh, the big lady. Threes. Okay, okay, okay. Up. And oh yeah, and threes again. Three minus three rent. Are you so sure? You need three sixes to survive. Easy. Look how it's done. It's been done yes. before. Bye okay. Bye 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 bye. bye. And the goddess of life. Okay, just is slain. bye bye. No, no, make it, <laughs> make it more epic. <laughs> Put some drama into that. She was epic during the game. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. And uh, I think it's your activation. Luckily, you won't be able to <laughs> kill him even if you roll everything. Okay, I'll. Uh, she will still run away. You know, actually. You can pile in out of the corner. Yeah, I can't. Oh, uh, is she as out of the combat? We didn't measure, but okay. Yeah, so uh, let's do the uh, three attacks. Uh, sorry, two attacks, uh, threes and uh, fours. No, nothing. Um, that's it. We finished here, here, and here. One, um, two, three, four, five, six. I hope she runs. And she does. Yes. So done with the, um, oh, at least uh, with what's their name, Dryads, uh, and I'm done. regaining control of the objective on your territory. Um, and uh, with that, I'm getting one, two, three points. Yes, uh, good point. Uh, so you're getting three points. Now we're moving to the priority roll. Mm -hmm. And let's see uh, who's going to go next. I roll one, three, roll three, and you pick who's going to go next. Levan decided to take the first turn, mm -hmm. uh, which means I had to burn the objective mm -hmm. and I burned uh, this one. So we are moving to the turn battle round three, mm -hmm. top of turn three, and it's Levan turn. So my plan is now, okay, <clears throat> Spirit of Dutu is pretty far away. Uh, yes, he can teleport with the forest, uh, blah, 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 so we'll see how it works out. Uh, but, um, 
What I will try to do now is what with the forces I have to hold these three objectives and just uh, win by points. I'm pretty sure that uh, my uh, gatebreaker will be able to clean Drykar, and if he's lucky with shooting or something, probably uh, kill tr uh, Tree Remnants. Yeah. So, and I will move my uh, <coughs> Gargants closer to the combat uh, there, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So that was the end of the charge phase. Uh, Levan, uh, I see that you had a pretty successful uh, turn. Yeah. What were you able to accomplish? <laughs> so, um, what I decided to do is uh, to move a little bit uh, with my uh, Land Crusher, probably block uh, your Durthu. Also, I'm within three, so in the end of the combat, I'll try to, on six, I will destroy your forest. I moved my War Stomper, uh, uh, I ran and uh, came to my objective. If you want to teleport here or something, I'll be able to hold it. And in future, maybe next turn, go to your uh, um, Hunters. Yeah. With here, uh, so I had the shooting attacks on three plus, two plus. And I uh, and I want to shoot these guys with four damage so they run away, and I rolled one on wound roll. Uh, also on charge, then I decided to do d6 mortal wounds because of the uh, mm, uh, the charge. What's what's the ability? It's all the my impact hit. Yeah, right? impact hit. Uh, on two plus, I would do damage, but I rolled uh, one again, so no one died here. But I, it's crucial for me to kill them because they can teleport. So now I will be forced to split attacks. Okay. And I don't like it. Sounds good. And this is the the only place where the combat is taking place? Yes, that's correct. Okay. Since I'm forced to split attacks, I decided to um, split Almighty Stomp on uh, Tree Revenant and two attacks from uh, Fort Crusher Flail toward uh, Tree Revenant. And everything else will go to Drake. Yeah. So let's start with the Almighty Stomp. Hitting on uh, threes, very good. And then just need to wound on threes, and I'll be happy. And it's minus two ren. It's automatically automatic two d three. Three damage, so three guys die. Yeah. And uh, frost crusher flail hitting on fours. Two misses. And they won't run away. <laughs> okay, uh, so I didn't kill them off, but I killed at least three and I think they have pretty low bravery so I'll hope for that and now let's uh, death grip um, uh, your dry car two I have plus one so two plus uh, two plus I need two not one but short <laughs> in a row come on I'm two pluses it's d6 damage okay three pluses with my fourth crush of flail Hitting not bad. on threes, yes, but I have wound roll and wound roll. All them but hitting one. on threes, yes, nice. Five minus three rand, so sixes. I have a small, tiny. You, you, if you, you need two sixes. I need two Actually. sixes here. Yes, yes, she's out. I'm very happy. Um, right, and uh, I hope you feel battle shock there too. Yeah, but before that, I still need to attack, right? Okay. Uh, fours and threes. Mm -hmm. And uh, threes, I don't get to reroll once anymore. So two, they, I, they don't have rent, right? Uh, they do have minus one, but you have to roll uh, separately. This is a two damage mm. attack, and this is a one damage okay, attack. Okay, so for two... Uh, so two damage. Two damage. And five, the yes. here safe on... So on two damage, I have six plus uh, ignore. No, so I, he gets two mortal. Oh, sorry, just two wounds. Okay. okay, and now you roll for bravery. Okay, uh, rolling for bravery, and I'm good. You're minus one because of the terror. Uh, so one more guy that runs, right? Okay, okay. So I shot them, I hit them, <laughs> I, I put terror on them, and they're still there. Yeah. Uh, okay, but no problem one. because uh, actually it's not the big deal because I have models on all the objectives, so it's yeah. not big deal. But still, there might be pain in the ass for changing the game. And also on six plus, I will be able to destroy uh, Yuri's forest. Yeah. No. Okay. No problem. What did you roll? I didn't see. Uh, I rolled two. Okay. Uh, that's okay. Uh, I'm holding three objectives at the moment, and uh, everything goes well. I'm pretty sure you'll get this objective next turn, and we are pretty uh, going close to each other, right? So yeah, let's yeah, see how a tight game. Uh, I'm passing the turn number three to you. Okay, excellent.
<laughs> With this endless spell, I was able to kill uh, Levant's uh, Gargant. What, how, how, how it works? D6 mortal wounds? Uh, so D6 mortal wounds if mm -hmm. you are within three of the Awakened Wild Woods. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so, Durthu work, uh, walked uh, the Spirit Walk. So this guy, yeah, teleported out of the combat uh, here to hold this objective. Durtu moved here uh, together with the general. Um, I moved five uh, here with the intention to charge. Big um, mistake. The one's general. We actually have to move the body of Draca <laughs> <laughs> from the battlefield. Uh, um, and uh, that's essentially it. I mean, um, I need a 7-inch charge. Um, if it works, it's great. If it's not, then I may Trust me. It will be great if it doesn't work. Six. Uh, it's better for them. You know what? I'm going to use the command uh, point and reroll. Yeah, nine. Which is uh, which is pretty good. And I'll see if oh I'm able to deal damage uh, to mm -hmm. the one's uh, general. Unfortunately, I'm out of reach of this objective. Mm -hmm. So in the best case scenario, if I, um, I won't be able to kill this guy, but... Um, I'll, I'll, but he I'll will be it. able to kill them. Yeah, we'll see. So, <laughs> okay, so we're moving to combat phase, right? Nothing um, yeah. else left on you during your hero charge or shooting. Yeah, actually, sorry, I've, um, I've, I, I forgot to shoot with uh, Durthu. Oh, it's too late. A... Um, I, I don't <laughs> accept it. Is he in range of shooting? Yeah, he's in range. He's going to shoot uh, this guy. Okay, War Stomper? Six uh, shooting attacks. He's going to target uh, mm -hmm. the War Stompers, fours and threes. Um, I can reroll once because I'm close to the mm -hmm. uh, wizard. And uh, threes, uh, not the best, so only one. Ren? Uh, minus one D3. Right, yeah. I'm dead, good. You're good. So that's it, we're moving to the activation phase and I'm gonna activate uh, the current hunters over here. Mm -hmm. It has four attacks, threes and three, later hits on twos, which is black. So uh, let's see. I don't get to reroll anything, unfortunately, but uh, so these are the Still hits. And uh, winning on three, six is a mortal wounds in addition. Uh, so you've got uh, two mortal wounds and uh, six, uh, seven, six. Uh, minus one, so five up. Right. Yeah, only one. How much damage? Two damage each, so 12, 12 damage. damage plus. Um, Plus the mortal wound. Uh, seven. So uh, 13? 13 in total, yeah. So, okay, let me roll uh, Thin of Pains on sixes. Oh, two. two. Uh, I roll six and I'm rolling six again. It's thir uh, yeah, 13, one more. Nothing and one more. Nothing. So out of 13, I said two. 11 goes And 11 through. goes through. So uh, my activation now with my um, what's a gate breaker. Um, I will uh, use my command point to roll hit rolls of one, and uh, we'll try to do as much damage as possible. So let's see how it goes. Almighty stamp uh, goes on threes, twos, one hit, and wounding on threes, minus two rent. Success? No. Uh, D3 damage, so let's see how it goes. 3 damage, not yeah. bad. Okay, down to 2. They're at 5, right? Yep, yeah, so 3 damage so far. Okay, dead grip hitting on 3s. Hit and wounding on 2s. I need that one because this is D6 damage. 4 times in a row, come on! Stop rolling once on 2 <laughs> pluses. <laughs> It's just the magic in the air. Yeah. It helps me. <laughs> Four crusher flail hitting on fours. I can reroll two of these because of the command point. Yeah. Okay. And hitting on fours, I said, right? Fours, yeah. Mm. Okay. Shitty attack. And uh, winning on threes. That's freaking unbelievable. Only one? Minus three, right? Oh, it, it goes. Three damage. So at least I killed one guy. So six, yeah. What's one their bravery? Uh, seven. So they'll have to roll because I'm minus one. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. This 
guy dies. It feels so good. You on, can't imagine. On four plus, you get uh, more wound, but you don't. Mm -hmm. Good. So that's it. That's the end of the uh, turn. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I scored two points for holding these two objectives. And we are moving to the battle round number four. Four, yeah. We're going to roll for the priority. Uh, let's roll here. I get two. And I get two, but I went first, so I can decide. Yeah. So uh, I took the turn number four, yeah. um, uh, sacrificing objective on my side, uh, but I have a small advantage on points, so I can't afford it, but I need to clean your resort to there. Yeah. The problem is now that guy who survived everything that I threw at him, <laughs> if I leave objective here, he will take it easily. Yeah, I'm just gonna teleport. Uh, he, yeah, he'll just uh, teleport, uh, but whatever, I'll have to do that. Uh, so, yeah, the only thing will happen here now, I will fight uh, Yuri's Corner Hunter there, and will charge with my War Stomper there and try to do as much damage to do so to get him bracketed, at least, if not kill. <laughs> I finished my charge, uh, and with an impact kill, I killed Yuri's general. Yeah. And uh, now Yuri will roll on 4+, plus, which I forgot completely that rule. Uh, I will last... Uh, I will fight last, correct? With uh, my War Stomper. Yes. Okay. Uh, you know, and um, actually, actually, the thing that we have missed, uh, I have to roll... I have to move the Endless Spell, right? Mm. Given that I went fourth and it moves like that would you still be able to i think so yeah i'll just go that way okay or i can't come close to no no uh you'll be fine it's just uh okay sounds good no no because uh, he has the ability to step over the endless mm -hmm. boss, right it was uh recently faq okay so on four plus i make a stump and uh he'll fight last okay this is important no, no. It is important, and I will fight with him, of course. And I will start with the almighty stump, which has... Oh, sorry, with a death grip. Let's go with the death grip, 3+. plus, Good. And wounding on 2s. And minus 3 rent. Success, I'm good. 3s now with my... Oh, nice. Uh, with my jump and down attack. All went through. Wounding on 3s. Four went through, minus two rent this time. So five. Uh, two went through. D3 damage. Two. two. Damage. And that's very good. And my final attack. <laughs> three. Okay, good, good. I need lots of threes now. Uh, five minus two. Uh, same five up. So three went through. Three went through. So two damage each. So six. Uh, six. So eight total damage eight total. damage total. Okay. I'm activating a unit over here. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's the leader, so he hits on twos. Yeah, very nice. Mm -hmm. And he wounds on threes. Six is on mortal wounds. Two. Uh, two, yeah, minus uh, one ran two damage. Uh, one saved, yeah. and one went through. Two damage, you said? Yeah. Uh, activating my War Stomper uh, with Almighty Stump, hitting on threes. Good. Wounding on threes. Not good. <laughs> I missed uh, uh, that grip. I can't reroll because he's not a monster. <laughs> and, uh, final attack, I have... A how many wounds? 15 on me. So, uh, 9 at attacks from my uh, Fraud Crusher Flare. What was the name? Fraud Crusher Flare. Seven. So, how many attacks you got for the I last have one? 9. Okay. And, and it's a 3 damage flat, right? It's yes. And it's hitting on 4s. So, only 2? What? Only 2? Yeah. Very nice. I just need to just fail one. Please. Two minus three rain. Wow, automatic. So the guy. Six! Six! Yeah, he's dead! Barely. <laughs> no matter what, he's dead! Yeah. Okay, that's very good actually because I don't know.
he would die in the king. Uh, so with that, I'm getting two points. This I'm gonna go next. Let me let me just. Go All next. right. So it's uh, threes and threes. Okay. I don't get to reroll anything. Uh, no, why no wizard? No, minus uh, <laughs> mi minus two rent. Uh, sixes. No sixes. Uh, take six. Six damage. And then the talents, uh, massive talents, uh, threes and uh, twos, and uh, one more damage, so seven damage in total. So, and he had one, so totally he has eight damage. Uh, he had three, right? Three? So oh. ten in total. Yeah. The bottom of turn uh, four. Uh, Durthu gonna go <laughs> next. Uh, Are you please. teleporting your guy there? Probably yes, right? uh, Yeah, the guy gonna go here. Just, yeah, just to hold, uh, to, to capture this objective. Uh, given that he has uh, nine, uh, sorry, eight wounds. Um, he has four attacks, uh, fours. Uh, so only one went through and threes. Minus one rent. Five. No. Uh, D3, so two wounds two here. More. So he's down. Twelve. So, so 12 damage on him. Um, I'm gonna slightly pile in this way and see if my great sword gonna do any damage. Uh, so it's uh, threes and uh, uh, threes minus two rent. Sixes. Uh, D6, so seven more. And, uh, and uh, so eight. Uh, eight so then, yeah. So with the talent, just roll uh, uh, roll six. If you uh, just roll a die on six, you save. Yeah. So <laughs> only six. Six more damage. Yeah. Okay. So you're still alive, and uh, I hit back. Yeah. Okay, so War Stomper hits back. Death Grip threes. I can reroll once because you are a monster. Yeah, Durst is a monster. Two. So failed. Uh, jump and down on threes. Uh, threes to wound. Two minus two ren. So fives. I'm good. Very good. Yeah. And now we're going to eight attacks with the Titanic Boulder class, hitting on threes. Okay, three misses. Mm -hmm. And wounding on threes. So four minus two rent. So uh, fives. So two went through. Two damage each. Okay, and uh, he still lives. Uh, so it's. Four and he's dead. Oh yes. So, uh, so with that, we're uh, finishing battle round number four. Yeah. And uh, there, I think at this point there's no point to continue. Yeah, because uh, it's you're you're leading twelve to seven, and there is no way for me to catch up with one model. <laughs> with, well, I mean, don't who survived this one. everything that was thrown here. <laughs> Sounds good. And let's move to the post-game discussions now. So that concludes our game. Yeah. What a game, huh? Great game. Oh. Another one, yeah. So what are your thoughts? What do you think, uh, you know, went well? What would you have done differently? I mean, in your case, yeah, probably nothing because you won the game. Game was fun. And there is another thing that it, uh, I find very cool about Guardians. It's uh, they can uh, spread uh, on the battlefield which not many armies can do and it makes uh, games uh, more interesting because uh, many things happen on a different sides of board so I can easily let's say uh, send white war stomp on the left side cracking it on the right side yeah. and something will happen there something will happen there and it's always more interesting than just one blob of fighting yeah, in the center yeah, of the yeah. uh, uh, battlefield it's a great great thing that I discovered uh, playing uh, Gargans uh, also, also, what is cool that uh, the armies that are strong as a bluff, yes, that has like a small hours of buffs and everything that goes as one buff, 
they will have problems against gargants because you have to split uh, now you have to split your blob too and maybe when your army is split it's not too strong so uh, with every game i find that gargants are much much better and stronger than uh i thought when i first read about them yeah and now i would i would even put them maybe on four out of five games four out of five wow yeah, of course you have to tweak your army uh, three uh, gargants, like different gargants in one tribe is not good. Probably you have to put same gargants. Um, you mean mega gargants, mega gargants right? right? If you if you bring three, it's like it's better to have, uh, for example, if Gatebreaker, it should be at least two great Gatebreaker because Kraken is very good. War Stomper is not bad, um, killing the coherences, and uh, it's a good, good uh, feature that uh, gargants have. Yeah. So army shows uh, out of, from the game to game. It shows that they can do more other than just stupid blunt force. There's lots of tactics. You always have to think where you want to uh, send Gargan because you only have six. Uh, so I'm very happy with the game. Uh, I was a little bit uh, disappointed with my man crushers because they failed when they hit, and they uh, and you succeeded very well with the yeah. magic uh, rolling twelve uh, and then uh, hitting with them. Uh, but honestly, if you uh, run a mass man crushers with a war stomper, probably the strongest tribe. Right. If you ask me, but they're just so cool. I need to leave like three of them, right? In the army. No, they're amazing. Yeah, yeah. they're amazing. Yeah. And uh, from your side, uh, like, Silver's amazing army. I like how you teleport it, how you hold the objectives. Uh, the, the charge with um, Alaria was brutal. I thought you will keep her. Yeah, as a, yeah. Actually, just, um, uh, wizard. Yeah, actually, good catch because um, I'm still contemplating whether I was uh, I did the right thing engaging her into the combat, mm -hmm. or maybe I should have you know kept her back and tried to deal uh, mortal wounds. But then I realized that if I were uh, if I were to catch up on points, I needed to get her yeah. uh, into the combat. And you know, as uh, cool as she looks, I think this is one of the you know best looking models in the game and kudos to Game Workshop who, whoever designed this model it's just a joy to watch but st she's still not 600 point model she's not a 600 point model uh yeah and i think uh, and, and 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 i hope that uh same that they did for uh, morathi in uh, broken realms yeah, they, will uh, do that. they will uh you know somehow adjust her war scroll uh down the road gargan is amazing army to play with and to play against uh, uh, I think, like I said, like we both said before, it's more competitive than many people would think. They would, uh, uh, even even based on the comments on, on the chats, uh, um, people think that uh, it's more like a fun army versus uh, being a competitive army. But uh, just uh, look at our previous battle reports. Uh, we had uh, four, I think, battle re the reports. Different kind of the, armies, right? and, Yeah, and we essentially... Different faced and they face different kind of armies and they only lost once yes. against the shooting list yes. and the god truck uh, actually right? they they lost to god truck so they, lost they to didn't lose to anything else because probably he, i think he killed two mega gargants and three main crushers that time, oh, yeah, right guys in this yeah insane. so uh yeah that concludes our battle report actually it's spell report number 20 episode yep. uh so it's amazing uh so uh subscribe Leave a comment, click like, everything helps, and uh, see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.